here at Blogs with Balls 4 with Ken Fang, and uh, we're joined by Mike Hall from uh, Nesson. Mike, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. You were on a, a panel that talked a, a lot about um, finding a niche in terms of programming. How's Nesson doing that? Well, it, you know, the panel had discussed this concept of the big three being baseball, football, basketball. I really think that's now a, a big two of baseball and football with the rest of these, you know, wide disparate but popular sports like hockey, NASCAR, English soccer, domestic soccer, all competing for that same attention span. I think that at Nesson, what we like to do is provide a breadth and depth of content about every sport, whether it's in that, you know, that first, you know, first tier or whether it's a sport that might have a smaller following but a passion, intelligent, and affluent following. It's just breadth and depth for every sport we cover every day. Okay. Yeah, and Mike, one thing you also mentioned was talking about getting on social networking. And one thing that I've, I've noticed for myself and for even younger bloggers, they really have to get on Twitter and Facebook and do social networking whether they want to or not. How important is that for someone up and coming in this day and age? I think for up and comers, it's extremely important in establishing a brand. Uh, you know, we talked in the panel about uh, kind of the, the intent that you have on becoming a blogger in a niche sport. Do you want to build your own brand and build traffic and advertising? Or do you want to get on with a, a bigger audience, with a mainstream media outlet, with you know maybe a regional sports network? Uh, the key there is to focus on your intent. If you want that appeal, you need to become an expert in your niche, and at the time where your niche becomes prominent, so for hockey, Stanley Cup Finals, for college football, the realignment debate, you'll be established as that authority that mainstream media will then reach out to for interviews, for panel discussions, and that will raise your status. Well, Michael, we appreciate your time, and you know we're we're three together here. We're we're all Boston fans. We're from New England, so. Yep. In New York, we're a dying breed, I guess, here, so. Oh, that, that's okay. I think there are more true blue Red Sox fans here than any of the other teams because they've been through thick and thin with that team. Um, we're not uh, fair weather fans. We're diehards, and we're diehards in all of our sports, niche or not. All right, thanks again.